Hello, and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Bright Path. And in this week's episode, I want to talk about when it's time to change jobs. When is it time to seek out a different role and choose to do something different? And this is something I've done several times in my own career, uh, having different positions in various roles related to business continuity and crisis management and corporate security as a whole. Um, I think really understanding and exploring the signs that indicate it might be a time for a change in your professional role is something that we need to think about sometimes and see if we recognize these signs in ourselves. Knowing when to move on is a crucial um, sign. It's a crucial part in your personal and professional growth. So let's dive into this a little bit. The first one is one of the most telling signs when it is time for change is if you're feeling persistently burned out. If you're constantly feeling exhausted, disengaged, unmotivated, then that's a signal that something needs to change. And I have felt this myself in some roles over the years. If you find that your current role doesn't offer you any opportunities to grow, uh, opportunities to learn and develop personally and professionally, then that is another sign that it might be time to seek out new challenges. Uh, stagnation is something that can greatly hinder your career, uh, your career progression, and feeling like there are no growth opportunities also is something that greatly contributes to burnout, to not performing well in your role. When your personal values no longer align with those of your organization, that can also lead to dissatisfaction and disengagement. This is a challenge I ran into not long before I left my last corporate job and chose to came to Bright Path. Uh, I had a different leader. I had a different, we had a different CEO. Uh, the company had gone through a number of changes. The culture was different. And I was continuing to grow professionally and academically. And I wanted to do something different. I wanted to continue to work in an environment that reflected my principles, the kind of culture that I wanted to work in. And so that misalignment can really lead to wanting to seek a different role. Um, another is if you've just lost the passion and enthusiasm that used to drive you in the role that you were in, then that's a sign that it may be time to explore new opportunities that may help reignite that professional spark that you have within you. Another one is just the work environment. If your work environment has become toxic, um, that can really take a toll on your physical and mental health. Um, if your workplace culture is something that you feel like is crushing you or it's negatively impacting you, it's crucial to consider making a change. Another one is if you just feel that your skills and talents are being constantly underutilized. That can lead to frustration and a feeling of being undervalued. Uh, you should then seek roles that can really fully leverage the abilities that you have. Another is your own desire for new challenges. If you're like me, I need to be challenged all the time. I need to do something that's intellectually inspiring and interests me. And uh, that desire for new challenges and experiences can really indicate that you might be ready for a, a change in your role. And you should embrace opportunities that push you out of your comfort zone and foster growth. Another is just feedback from trusted advisors. Um, if you're talking to your mentors and your friends, um, sometimes those folks around you can see things that you just can't see. You should pay attention to feedback from colleagues, from your mentors, from your friends, from other trusted advisors um, that may suggest that a change is needed. And then lastly, you should trust your gut. You should go with your intuition. Um, if you have a persistent feeling that it's time for you to move on, you should listen to that. And I have found that my gut uh, has often guided me in the right direction. So these are some ideas to think about um, that you can look within using these as a guide and determine if perhaps you're at a place where a new role or a transition might be something that would help you be able to move forward uh, and continue your personal and professional growth in a culture that aligns with your values, that drives the passion and the enthusiasm that you want to have for a role. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. 
To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.